DP300, Microsoft Azure Database Administration Certification, Auto Failover Group. An Auto Failover Group is an availability feature that can be used with both Azure SQL Database and Azure SQL Database Managed Instance. Auto Failover Groups let you manage how databases on an Azure SQL Database Server or databases in Azure SQL Database Managed Instance are replicated to another region. And let you manage how failover could happen. The name assigned to the Auto Failover Group must be unique with the database.windows.net domain. Azure SQL Database Managed Instance only supports one Auto Failover Group. Auto failover groups provide AG-like functionality called a listener, which allows both read-write and read-only activity. There are two different kinds of listeners, one for read-write and one for read-only traffic. Behind the scenes in a failover, DNS is updated so clients will be able to point to the abstracted listener name and not need to know anything else. The database server containing the read-write copies is the primary, and the server that is receiving the transactions from the primary is a secondary. When it comes to failover, auto-failover groups have two different policies that can be configured. Automatic, by default, when a failure occurs and it is determined that a failover must happen, the auto-failover group will switch regions. The ability to fail over automatically can be disabled. Read only, by default, if a failover occurs, the read only listener is disabled to ensure performance of the new primary when the secondary is down. This behavior can be changed so that both types of traffic are enabled after a failover. Failovers can be performed manually even if automatic failover is allowed. Depending on the type of failover, there could be data loss. Unplanned failovers could result in data loss if forced and the secondary is not fully synchronized with the primary. Configuring grace period with data loss hours controls how long Azure waits before failing over. The default is one hour. If you have a tight RPO and cannot afford much data loss, Set the value higher so Azure will wait longer before failing over, hopefully resulting in less data loss. One auto failover group can contain one or more databases. The database size and addition will be the same on the primary and secondary. The DB is created automatically on the secondary through seeding. Depending on the size of the database, this may take some time. Ensure that you plan accordingly and you take into account things like the speed of the network, 